Did I manage to stop Lobby Chan? No, you managed to own Lobby Chan. I carefully looked into Lobby Chan's face, and once she stops moving, suddenly she starts talking blankly. My, she was quite easily defeated. Evidently, I didn't push her far enough. Well, she is a test unit, so this is as far as my little game goes. It's the same voice as before, and, and totally a man's voice. Who in the world is that? He's been going on and on about personas, this and that, and some test thing, and it's not just, it's all just a gag to him. I'm absolutely fur furious that he used Lobby John. After taking a brief look at me, the voice keeps talking. Thank you all. Although this didn't work out, you did stay in it to the very end. Hmm? He wasn't listening to what I said at all. Can't you see how angry I am? Labrys's shadow was only the mastermind of the tournament. I see now. You're the true culprit behind the whole thing. Indeed. It was I who stole Labrys away. Since I don't have a persona and can't enter a TV, I needed a puppet that could run amok for me. Labrys's persona was only partially awakened, so I had a feeling her shadow would appear if she underwent a little suffering. You got the better of me this time. You deserve to know at least that much. This time? Are you still planning something? Well then, everyone. Until we meet again. If I never meet you again, it'll be too soon! Actually, who are you? At least have the common courtesy to introduce yourself! I was waiting for, his, for him to at least say his name. Why is he prolonging the suspense like that? Stupid developers! But then I hear a weird sound like something turning off, and Lobby Chan collapses like a puppet whose strings were cut. Does that mean he's gone? Urgh, how rude can he get? He didn't even answer one of my questions! He didn't listen to anything I said! He's the worst! I'm still frustrated, but I'm worried about Lobby Chan! I did my best to try and stop her. I didn't go too far, did I? I, I only shot her into like a firework and made everyone happy! Is Lobby Chan okay? Aichan nods. When Lavi Chan hears my voice, she opens her eyes. Oh, good. She's not making the weird face anymore. What a relief. Everyone's trying to figure out what went on, but I'm fine now that I know Lavi Chan's okay. Well, I have Aichan with Lavi Chan since any of the others talked to the lady. leave the rest of this affair to us. We'll do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is our duty. Mm, what a cool and beautiful voice. This must be what they all mean by a voice you can't argue Yosuke, with. Let's go back. I thank you for your understanding. Don't worry, we'll keep you safe. Huh. He sounded like he was doing what the lady wanted, but Sensei and Yosuke were looking at each other funny. What was that about? Are they scheming something even though Sensei said he wasn't? Well, it's more important right now that Labi Chan get better. This time we got this time we got out of this TV! And then the party can start! Yosuke stretches his limbs and grunts. Pushed. Well, at least everyone's okay. Hmm? Aren't we forgetting something? Hmm? I don't think so. I mean, it's not like Kanji never showed up or anything, right? If I could Kanji or something up, though, I bet everyone would congratulate me. Hmm. Did I just give myself a hint with that? Uh, Kanji-kun still hasn't arrived. Oh, good job now, Chan. No wonder you're an ace detective. Kanji hasn't been with us since this all started. I thought he was just running late and he'd catch up later, but something happened with Lobby Chan, and, well, he completely yeah, slipped out of our minds. He is pretty late. Uh, after what just happened, something could still be up. Oh, crud, that's right. After what just happened, I wonder if Kanji's in trouble. Hmm? But wait a sec. My adorable ears are picking something up. Huh? Is that? I think I hear something. You're right. So do I. Hmm? What's it saying? I can't make it out. Where is it? Everyone looks at each other in confusion over the noise that's coming closer with those thunderous footsteps that oh, man. and that yell. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. You're far from the only one. You're kidding me. Is this Kanji? Does everyone think so too? 
I turn around with a bad feeling about this, and sure enough, Kanji's running up like a madman. Looks like he was completely late to the party. Oh, well, since the knight errant Teddy played a huge role in this time, I'll speak for everyone. But when I step forward, Kanji glares at me and points his finger. Oh, uh, what the? Is, it, is this the final battleground in the Grand Prix to decide the strongest man? <laughs> Oh, wow. Kanji? Uh, why are you bringing I that see. up? Hey, what are you looking at me for? Wait, I guess too? What's so funny? Oh, no. He just reminded me a bit of you. See? Even the ladies are laughing at you, Kanji. She, how embarrassing being your friend. You were still at it? Ugh, I already told you it's over. Shut up. No one gets to decide when my dream's over, but me! <laughs> dream? Do you mean to tell me you think this is all a dream? Hmm? I kind of remember Risei-chan bringing up something like that when I talked to her. Yosuke seems a bit embarrassed. Oh, I get it! Yosuke must have gotten beat by a confused kanji. Or... Or... Con... Con-con? Okay, I, I don't get it. Well, I suppose that it does all seem quite unrealistic. Still, isn't this kind of long for a dream? Honestly, can't you give me such a handful? What, what are we gonna do? Should we stop him? Oh, oh, wait a sec. I just remembered something really seriously very important. That's the... That's right, so it's extremely important. I... I... I haven't gotten my victory kiss from Lobby John! Now that I remember that I gotta give that last fight everything I can with Lobby John's praise. Kanji, I'm your last opponent! Huh? What, do you wanna fight me, Ted? I've got one more job to do. I can't let this end without at least getting a victory kiss. What? A kiss? What kind of motive is that? I quickly step for Kanji and he's cracking his knuckles. Oh, how awesome! The P1 Grand Prix decide the most masculine of all men! Shh. Now, this is more like it. Alas, he never learns. Well, if it calms Kanji down, I'm fine with it. A heated battle between the daringest of men! The ultimate showdown to decide who's most macho of all! Now, this is a festival! Get ready to try a little teddiness! I throw Levy Chan a sidelong glance. He doesn't look hurt or anything. It, it's okay if we tussle a little, right? Levy Chan seems to understand. After looking at Ai Chan, she gives me a if thumbs you're up. If you gonna do this, you better not lose. Best of luck, Mr. Knight. All right. Levy Chan's cheering has boosted my courage to 120 percent. Bring it on, Ted. You're gonna find out that the legendary Kanji Tatsumi's the strongest man there is. Especially since you're in my dream anyway. <laughs> Way too into this. I agree. Still, there comes a time when a man's gotta take a stand. Go for it, guys! Fight it out to your heart's content! Yes! Chishan's right! Now is the time for me to take a stand! Oh, man, get me! Oh no, Kanji won't enjoy this, I promise. Kanji's gonna get beat down by a stuffed animal. He'll never look at his knitting the same again.
awesome picture. I approve. Amazing. I, Teddy, have dominated the Grand Prix. Oh, wow, crowd for, it's auto-playing. Stop, auto-playing, stop. Good. Now that I've had my victory dance, shall we move on to our triumphant ma- yeah, march back now, home? Huh? This isn't a dream? We've been telling you that from the start. Sorry. Stupid Kanji. You really are dense, you know that? Yeah. This was all real? Sorry, dudes. Oh, my. We see China showing Kanji no mercy. The, the world is a harsh place for losers, huh? Good thing I won. <laughs> They're very energetic. Ridiculous is more the word I'd use. I don't know. Seeing them like this brings back some memories. Come on, Lavi Chan! Give me a kiss! I demand it! As I bounce around Lavi Chan, she looks perplexed. Oh, is she still holding out on me? Lavi Chan is such a tease. What gives, anyway? You fought one of your friends without even being forced to. How can you laugh about it like that now? I infer that for them, this is one way of communicating with each other. The common phrase is that they are letting their fists do the talking. Their fists are talking? (laughs) I have heard that doing so allows people to form even stronger bonds. Uh, This wasn't exactly anything so noble. Bonds. Huh. I like that. Labby John smiles shyly and I gently pass my head. Oh, this is one of those petting skills. She knows how to rub me the right way. It's not a kiss, but I'll take it. After we got out on TV, we were all tired. We went our separate ways and fell asleep at home. I was tired too, which doesn't really make sense because I'm a shadow and I should be used to it, but, you know, plot... The next day, we all got together to see Labichan off, plus the others who were going back to the city. Labichan looks lonely in that cool, long car. You always could call it a sweet limo. Or maybe I'm the lonely one. Labichan, you decided to go with Mitchan, right? Mitchan? Who are you talking? Oh. Huh? Wait, is he referring to me? <laughs> Mitchan, indeed. And just what are you laughing at, Akihiko? <laughs> the idea of anyone calling you... You're laughing too hard, Aki. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare to see anything make Mitsuru-san laugh like this. Sheesh, what's her big deal? I just have a... I try to have a heartfelt farewell with these guys keep undercutting me. Even Labichan is laughing. Well, I'll forgive them for such a cute girl's sake. Besides, laughing like this is one of our is one of our thing more than staying down in the, the dumps. The thought of staying here did cross my mind, but I've made my choice. I'm gonna find whoever it was that set you all up and catch him myself. The way Labichan said that was so confident and awesome. She's gleaming as so much I can barely look at her. But if I don't look, it'll be wasted. So I'm just about to go blind. I've heard that looking at cute girls can do that uh, to you. I, yeah, you'll be okay. Got Aichan, Mitchan, and Aki with you. I'm sure you can pull it off. Yeah. I'm not alone. Right? Exactly. If anything comes up, I'll be at your side right away. I'll try my hardest to make a place where I belong. Just like you, my senpai. Will you root for me? Even when I'm far away? Hmm? Her senpai? That has a nice ring to it. I can't help but smile real wide, and I gotta keep keep my dignity. I am here, her semi, after all. I make the sternest face I can and puff out my chest. Follow your senpai Teddy's example as much as you want. Just make sure not to follow his example of getting carried away so easily. Dude, Labrys is way better than you at all kinds of things. You ask me, it's you who should be following her example. What? What a horrible thing to say! As a senpai, I demand an apology and reputation, reparations. I'm hopping mad, but Yosuke brushes it off with a quick. Should and Chiyachan is asking, and Chiyachan is asking, "Are you sure you want? Are you sure you want this guy as a senpai?" So, oh well, I can just let petty petty jibes pass, since I am a senpai so after all. The only good thing about my friends is that they're never dull. 
Make sure you train hard so you can keep up with them, okay? Yeah, I'll do that. I ignore everyone else laughing at what training hard really means, but Labby Chan and I look at each other with an iron smile. Ah, uh, this exchange of feelings makes me between me and my sensei. It's like me and sensei. But for a moment, Labby Chan's face goes serious, worried even. I cock my head to ask what's wrong, and Labby Chan hesitantly Can I answers. Come back here again? Why would you have to ask that? Huh? Heck, if you don't come back, I'll come after you and drag you here. Seriously, what a thing to ask. We're friends and senpai and student on top of that. She doesn't need my permission to come back here? Gotcha. But make sure you let me know in advance so you don't cause a scene by showing up all of a sudden, okay? Lappy then smiles, huh? Why is she crying? I can't bear to see a cute girl cry. But Lappy John laughs through her tears and gently takes my hand. Her mechanical hand presses Thanks, into my soft Daddy. fur. Thanks to you too, Labby Chan. Mm. Well, see ya. Labby Chan waves through the window of the sweet limo and goes farther and farther away. I do my best to wave back, and I keep waving until I can't see her anymore. Eventually, she disappears. Which you probably figured out when I said I couldn't see her anymore. She's gone. Yosuke pets, pets my head when he hears me mutter so sadly. No. If he acts all nice to me now, I'll I'm cry sure even more. Again. Yeah. She said she'd come back. Hey, Labby John. I couldn't say it before, but you don't need to worry about anything. Maybe you don't realize it, but you're so charming, and you'll be fine wherever you go. Everyone will want to be your friend. I just look at everyone here. They all couldn't help but like you. Hey, I like you so much, I wish you'd come back right now. After we said goodbye to Labby Chan, we all gathered up as usual in the food court. I was about to make up Sensei's welcome back party, but then I interrupted by the case. Uh, it's kind of a clown though, because I'd hope that Labby Chan could come really to join. Oh, to I'm kind of down time, though. Teddy. Oops. Good job. Well, Sensei's, Sensei's going to say that, since I am a superhero, I start talking about my heroic escapades as the knight errant Teddy. Everyone wants to hear. Ah, enough about that already. Oh, come on. I know you want to hear more. You should be more honest about your feelings, Yosuke. Believe me, I don't hold back when it comes to the stuff you do. Jeez, Yosuke is such a sullen boy. I elbow Yosuke in the ribs while Chie Chan looks up from being moved to tears oh, by my heroic tale. Uh, I'm sorry, Teddy. What was the last thing you said? What? what? Was no one at all listening? Uh, hey! Now that I look at Kanji's fell all asleep. You're all so cruel. Come now. We all know that you did your best already. Really? Then can I go on with my story? Let's save the rest for another occasion. Sheesh, that's enough out of Teddy. Come on, Yosuke-senpai. Now's your chance. Right. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? When Yosuke claps his hand, he gets everyone's attention. Even Kanji wakes up from his nap. I was actually going to ad-lib that, and then it was the next line. That's kind of cool. I'm impressed and a little jealous. Uh, we are gathered here today at this food court to celebrate our reunion, obviously. But that's not all. Is this about that mysterious voice? But I thought we were going to let those Kirucha group people handle it. I said that we should trust Mitsuru-san, but I didn't tell her we wouldn't get involved. Now that's our leader! That's what I'm talking about! Uh... So, what's the plan? He looks so tired. Are you still half asleep? It should be obvious what we're going to do. Obvious what we're going to do? Does that mean what I think it does? I keep looking at Sensei with excitement. He gives his usual cool expression before the speaking up. The team is back in action. Oh, I wonder if I wonder if that was it, but now he said it. My excitement is through the roof. I'm like a Teddy rocket going all the way to space. I'm in space. That means we're going to be working up the same thing that Labby Chan and her friends are, right? I'm so pumped up. I could do this like I'm turning into hot air balloon. <laughs> Considering how important this is to solving the case, I'll let, 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 I better let that continue into the next one. This looks like another job for Teddy! What? Where did that come from? 
the moment I say it, everyone probably makes a jab at my comment. Now this is what a bond between friends is supposed to be. I can't wait for Labby Chan to join in on the ribbing too. Oh, and and Mit Chan and I Chan too, of course. And if Aki Chan changes his half naked ways, I might even let him join in. The best Golden Week ever, and it's just getting started. Okay, and that concludes Teddy's storyline. Who raised? I like Teddy's story, and that all, that may have something to do with voicing his. His voice doesn't constantly make me cringe and hate myself for not being able to do it. It's just fun. <laughs>